Arion Corporation is developing a supersonic business jet. It's called the AS2. Uh, it's going to travel at speeds up to Mach 1.6, uh, carry 8 to 11 passengers uh, uh, across the Atlantic, across the Pacific, about uh, 4,750 nautical miles range, uh, and uh, you know, faster than anything else that's uh, on the market today. We have some work ahead to make that happen, uh, but our news here at NBAA is that we've entered into a collaboration with Airbus, uh, Airbus Group, and uh, they bring obviously tremendous engineering and production resources that are going to uh, help us uh, now really shift into high gear and, and, and uh, bring this airplane to market. Well, the project has uh, began over 10 years ago with basic research into uh, a, a type of uh, uh, aerodynamics called supersonic uh, natural laminar flow, which provides a higher level of efficiency, especially at high speeds, it makes uh, supersonic flight uh, more economical and efficient. Uh, now, with the resources that we have through Airbus, our plan is to uh, have first flight in uh, 2019 and certification in 2021. It, this airplane is designed for efficiency, uh, not, so, not so much sonic boom mitigation. Even so, an airplane of this size will have a much smaller sonic boom than a Concorde, for example. Uh, over the U.S., it's prohibited to fly at supersonic speed, uh, and, and this airplane is designed to fly efficiently at, say, Mach 0.95 to 0.99, so it can fly efficiently where it's not permitted to go supersonic. Then when you go over the ocean and even certain, certain unpopulated areas, you can go with supersonic speeds. There's also a phenomenon called Mach cutoff, and it's just it's not an, uh, a feature of the airplane. It's just uh, uh, the uh, physics of the atmosphere, temperature, and so forth, that uh, an airplane flying at very high altitude at a very low supersonic speed, say Mach 0.12, the boom will dissipate before it reaches the ground. So we can fly over areas, not the U.S., but other areas without creating a sonic boom on the ground. 